I'm David. And I'm Elisa. I'm Elisa. No, that's not right. No. I own a vintage clothing store called Chelsea Girl in Soho. I've been collecting vintage clothing since probably about the time I was in college. As a matter of fact, around the time I met David. David manages my store. Working with Elisa really gives me the opportunity to express myself and be creative. My brain is a, a, a compost heap of pop culture crap. It's very Dr. Zhivago. David and I met when we were 18. We were freshmen at NYU. I realized when I got to college that I didn't want to sort of be wearing the same things that everybody else was wearing. I kind of call myself a fashion rebel. I don't ever look at fashion magazines. People at fashion magazines are coming to me for ideas. I look at the street. This is very sort of consistent. I think in terms of how her eye works, I'm always changing and trying new things. He's always trying to get me to, I think, be a little more experimental in terms of what I sell. I think we should concentrate more on pieces too than we did last year. They have to be finished though. They can't be like these collars that don't have linings and nobody knows what to do with them. They have to have like a clip. With heads and no. clips, nothing like that? Nothing with heads or tails. If it was up to him, he would make the store way more theatrical. I don't want like long mink jackets. You know, I know what you want. Like an old lady would wear. He's totally into bling. I'm into bling. I can't resist things that glitter. She has more of a signature. I don't yeah. I don't have a signature. Which is why I get recognized all the time and you don't. I've told you that. The number one question that customers ask us, which is incredibly annoying. Annoying. Very annoying. Is where, where do you, you get, get your this? stuff? Right. We go to flea markets. Estate sale. We go to Salvation Armies. Go out on the road. Antique show. Auctions. Garage sale. We have pickers that come to the store. We rummage through barns, attics. Someone passes away. They often will sell a whole collection. I mean, we're not ambulance chasers, per se. Each piece is hand-picked. This yeah. one's very unusual because it's a metallic yarn. It's one of the reasons that people really love vintage clothing is, is that it seems to come with a store and it's lived before. Each piece came from a different family, a different part of the country. It's from a different era. This that's, is 30s, that's right? That's like the scene in Greece when they have the, the pajama party when she drinks too much. My favorite kind of customer is an endangered species. It's like um, a Rachel Zoe. She's a customer of ours. That's the kind of customer who comes in and throws the shit on the table <laughs> and doesn't care what it costs. Whether it's for a celebrity or one of our customers who has a specific need, will find what they're looking for. It's, it's me. It's I'm at the fabulous. flea market, yeah. and I think I found an incredible dress for you. Every weekend, we go to the flea market. What's left of it? <laughs> Remember when we used to go to the flea market here and it was like all open air and... Yeah, before they built this corridor of hell and Giuliani yeah. sold the city out to developers. Vintage clothing tends to attract big characters. Hi, Eve. I love Eve because she's one of these older women that's uh, overly sexual. And... <laughs> Don't you look delicious? Thank you. I love what? your hat. Hi, Lulu. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi. Lulu looks a little bit like Madonna in 1984, <laughs> like pre Who's That Girl, but. But 55. I need knits. Do you have any interesting knits? Right now, we're on the cusp of fall, so I'm definitely looking for fall pieces. Jackets, blazers. Pierre, this is a great knit. This is awesome. This is look, good. This is Pierre Cardin. Look at the lining, David. How great is that? When I see something, I know in an instant if it's something I want. It's not vintage enough. This That's crazy. Pin. I can't it's deal with pinning. plaid. It's too structured. And what about Dior? It's too theatrical. She's not opinionated. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. I have like blinders on when I'm shopping. You know what? I used to buy things just because they were interesting, and then they would sit there and not sell. Basic items sell. See, I can sell these. Tendons sell really well. Bracelets never sell. I don't know why. This is so ugly. This is the ugliest thing ever. Stop it. I hate pink. David thinks that women love pink. Elisa despises pink. So pink is a metaphor for when we don't agree. We can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing you, what? You gotta buy stuff for the store. We fight. We bicker. We, we don't bicker. fight. We bicker. This is way too expensive unless she does better on the price. Well, give her a chance. I mean, what am I, it's a little, it's a belt. 55 for the uh, Okay, and this one's lace. from me. So what can and you do for me? For you, it would be even more. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I love that. I'll never stop with the pink. 
Don't leave this city, not to get Another way that we acquire merchandise is doing a house call. It's important for us to get out of the city. And the discomfort of leaving the city is part of the fun. So you didn't get these directions from Lee? You got them off the internet? Yeah. OK, fine. You take this to, um... oh, we're past that already. East? It has to be east. Say it says take exit four toward Cross County Parkway. That was not you my fault. Google Maps. You know what? It was not my fault. This is the Cross County, David. I didn't tell you to get off. This is the Cross County. I think Google fucked up. I can blame Google Maps or David. Just gave me the beat. That's all I need. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. I love to talk about Lee. She's one of my favorite people that we deal with regularly. And she's such a character. We just love her. I cleared this off and I would put some plastic there. Sure. Okay. Lee's very Lee, clean. Lee's home. I want to stress clean that. Clean is not the word I would use. It was she impeccable. Really. Meticulous. Anal. That's gorgeous. Look at this. Is that exciting? That's I'm beautiful. excited. So one of the things that Lee kind of specializes in is Pucci, Emilio Pucci, who was a designer from the 1960s, known for his very wild, colorful prints. This fabric had to be cut, so the hem was cut on the actual border of the of the fabric. That's very expensive to do. They don't do that kind of thing anymore. The other thing that she brought out was a collection of moon bags. They're consistent sellers for us. It was just this artist in the 80s, Patricia Smith, um, who created uh, like 200 different varieties of these bags. A lot of them were, you know, hand painted on these panels and then laminated. So I think that's it. The Pucci pieces, the moon bags, the and- scarves. Okay. okay. Feel free to call me anytime. Our personal and professional lives are so intertwined. It's almost like American Pickers meets- Will and Grace. Right. One of the things that I really like about Elisa you know, you can go shopping with her and she's a girly girl, but you don't have to put her in a cab. Taxi! What the fuck? We work, we play, we complain. We bicker. We're going to Starbucks. There's a Starbucks on the corner. Ooh, I can't pee in a Starbucks. Why? Because people shoot up in there. I don't go. What I are don't... you talking about? We're big picks. Bicker pickers. We're quicker picker uppers. What's so funny? <laughs> you know, I've outlasted the husband, I've outlasted the boyfriend, <laughs> she's outlasted my boyfriends. I mean, this is the enduring relationship. Oh! She's my straight man, it's awesome. <laughs> I am.